What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And together we are last week's album, The Only Reviews, with two different views. And in this episode, we're talking about Adele's new album, 25, and asking the big question, does Adele say hello to her old ways or new styles? Uh, but before we get into all that, we'll kick things off like we always do, drinking a beer. Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. Cheers, Kevin, everyone at home. A little on Adele, in case you didn't know, but you probably do. She's a 27-year-old British singer-songwriter. This is her third album after her breakout debut, 19, and her uber-successful follow-up, 21. Let's talk about what the album sounds like. Derek, what do you think? Uh, Kevin, I think Adele here sounds like she's saying hello, goodbye, what are you still doing here? Seriously, I'm going to call the cops and other relationship musings via vocal acrobatics. I think this sounds like a modern day Celine Dion mixed with Whitney Houston. And with that, let's talk about some highlights and lowlights. Derek, what do you have? Uh, Kevin, you know, my first highlight was the track Hello, which I thought really in hindsight was probably the most appropriately titled opening track of all time. But it was also a strong track on its own. Uh, I believe the first uh, single as well, but um, just from a strictly track title name basis alone, I thought uh, that was a highlight to me. I also thought When We Were Young was a particularly good song. And then what about Low Lights, Derek? Um, again, I don't know why I'm focusing on track titles, but there, there was one titled Water Under the Bridge, which was immediately followed by a track titled River Leia. I was like, all right, if you got Water Under the Bridge, and next thing you're talking about is a river, I don't know if you're over it. On my end, on the lowlights, I thought she tends to use melodrama so much that eventually it kind of loses its impact, you know? I feel like you could throw almost any one of these songs on, like, a slideshow um, of photos, and it would work perfectly. <laughs> like, no matter the situation, if it's your best friend, an ex-lover, family photos, like, whatever, any one of these songs could bring you to tears uh, with some nice memento photos. So... <laughs> They kind of all end up blurring together in that way, for me at least. Um, and finally, Derek, did you find her voice amazing on this album or, or kind of predictable at this point? I think a little bit of both. Um, Sun songs, you know, she really demonstrated, you know, just very strong vocals. But at the same time, uh, I thought uh, her vocals really matched the style of song that was being played. Um, for example, When We Were Young, which uh, I read she tried to uh, make this kind of an Elton John inspired ballad. I thought it totally lived up to it, and the vocals really just kind of matched that overall um, theme or tone. So overall, I'd say yes of both. For me, it's getting kind of predictable. So with that, uh, Derek, what's your uh, overall rating? And does Adele say hello to her old ways or new styles? I think she's really saying hello to her old ways here. A lot of uh, stories of scorned uh, ex-lovers, um, self-reflection, which at some point was interesting, but overall, you, you know, a lot of the same themes in some new styles musically. Uh, but on the whole, it didn't really move me too much, so I'm giving uh, 25 a three. I think she's, she's saying hello to her old ways and a little bit too much. However, send my love, I miss you, Water Under the Bridge did add some variety uh, to them from like the upbeat to some trippy R&B to some disco dance respectively were all uh, nice touches of, of newness for her. And don't get me wrong, Adele has perfected the lovesick power ballad and she sounds amazing at it, particularly on Hello and When We Were Young. I just kind of crave more variety, and uh, there are some amazing singles here, but just not a strong album, at least for me, from start to finish. Not just in the context of her songs, but in the style. There's really nothing new. They're kind of becoming formulaic. So I'm giving this one a two out of five for 25, uh, combined with Derek's three out of five makes a five out of 10. So check this one out. It's about middle of the road, I guess we would say. And um, say hello to it and let us know what you think about it. Love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to us here at last week's album. You can also check out the podcast. As always, we are the only reviews with two different views. I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time.